Okay, hello, here we are back again. I could call this video delayed yet again. <laughs> it is the second day here at the True North Health Center and it is day zero 3.0. Uh, tomorrow, I now know, is gonna be day zero 4.0. <laughs> So I had my appointment with the physician today, Dr. Anthony Strucker. I was extremely impressed with him. I've never met a doctor like that. He was so supportive and open and nurturing and so thorough and detail-oriented and, sorry about that, kick the tripod. So um, just had a really great uh, examination and appointment with him went over just every every detail of health and well-being head to toe every different aspect system of the body etc and um, he gave me the thorough examination and we talked about what I'm doing here at True North and what I want to get out of it and the course of action that we are going to take and so he is on board with doing a five to seven sorry five to 10 day water only fast. Uh, originally, Dr. Goldhammer, the founder here at True North had recommended I would likely do a five to seven day fast, but he also uh, trusts the doctors to do their thing as well. And so I told Dr. Strucker that I really hope to do as long a fast as possible. I would love to push it out to 10 days. And that um, one of the big things I was trying to do was the, the gut biome and, and get, get the bacteria balance back in order uh, to take care of a number of my conditions that were showing up. The little acne or the little toenail fungus or the little skin rash and the constantly feeling bloated and headaches, all that stuff that uh, my doctor felt were related. And so he said that really in the first five to seven days, a lot of those things can be managed and handled and, and that gets cleaned up but he's totally willing to uh, push that out if my body is responding well to the fasting so it just depends on how i do what the bio indicators are and how i'm doing personally how i'm feeling so we are going to embark upon that course but there i must say they're very cautious here and they're they're very concerned and, and compassionate and thorough and so we are doing a number of tests blood tests and all of these cibo tests and <clears throat> a test for candida levels, if there's a candida overbloom that might be causing some of this, as my doctor uh, suggested might be the case. So we're gonna do some thorough testing, the blood tests, uh, do the urine urinalysis test tomorrow. Blood tests will be coming up as well. He said the blood test is when we start fasting, so it's a flat fasting blood test. So turns out I did get to eat Christmas dinner here at True North Health Center, and it was fine. It was the usual food here, which, for most people would be considered quite bland, but as I've watched many of the videos from Dr. Goldhammer, the founder, that you do adapt to that and that we've neuroadapted to a high salt, high fat, and of course high sugar uh, diet and lifestyle. And here they aren't using any salt, oil, or sugar. And so at first it takes tastes bland. And over time, in a couple weeks, it tastes delicious and, and people ask, well, what are you doing differently this week from last week? Well, what was different was us. So uh, it's good food, it's, it's wholesome. It's, uh, I had some baked yam and some uh, Brussels sprouts and purple carrots and there was a pesto lasagna tonight uh, made with a rice noodle. So, uh, and a spicy tomato soup. So that's what's uh, on the menu here at True North today. And uh, I continue eating today and will one more day eat. He really wants to, again, being cautious, he wants to have a few days of eating this way, getting the body right where it should be, tuned up to, to this very healthy way of eating. And then we're gonna start with a day of juice, juicing, juice fast. So uh, Friday will be a juice fast, and then Saturday is the big day. Finally, I get to drink water only, and uh, they're recommending between four and 10 glasses of water a day. No more than 10, but at least four every day. So I've gotten a lot of the details. I've been starting to watch some of the DVDs, the lectures that they've made here. They provide a whole big DVD booklet when you check in, a whole slew of lectures uh, from different doctors and different professionals about many different aspects, fasting, diet, cooking, all that stuff. So I've been watching some of those here 
and getting to know some of the other uh, patients, guests, residents. And it's a really good group of people because everyone here is here to get well and to get healthy. And there's just such a positive attitude and the vibe here is great. And uh, wasn't too Christmassy. The, the, the lobby, I guess, had a little bit of Christmas or the, or the, um, the medical intake office, but in the dining hall and the public areas, no signs of Christmas here, which for me is just great. Uh, I, I really feel more comfortable just in a neutral environment than one that is, you know, leaning towards some holiday or even any cultural indicator that includes some and excludes others. So it's it's been a wonderful Christmas here. Doesn't even feel like Christmas other than the stock market is closed. So tomorrow it's back to business as usual out in the real world. It'll be Thursday the 26th of December and it's my last day of eating. So that'll be the real day zero zero and then the juice fast day, we'll call it day 0.5 and then Saturday will be day one of full on water only fasting. So uh, again, very exciting. Uh, the, the doctor thinks that we will really be able to address a number of my medical issues. One of them being the arthritis with which I was diagnosed in my hip and I keep seeing over and over again that arthritis is one thing that fasting is well known and documented for treating. So um, before I get into any surgeries or anything drastic and invasive like that, as has been offered by some uh, orthopedic surgeons, um, I am gonna go the fasting route and see if that improves the condition a bit. And besides that, I'm not debilitated enough or even in enough pain. Uh, certainly don't have a lack of mobility. I have a lack of range of motion, but I wouldn't say any of those are at the level at which I would wanna go ahead and do something as invasive as surgery, even though it's arthroscopic by a, an expert pioneer in the field, knowing I have him there available to me when I'm fully ready and believe that's necessary. Okay, I'll go ahead and consider that, but for now, I'm gonna start with the fasting, start with the getting healthy, the healthy eating, plant-based, whole food, low fat, no salt, no oil, no sugar, little handful of nuts. Dr. Goldhammer says one ounce of nuts a day is okay. And I asked him about nut milk, because we make nut milks at home. Since we quit drinking coffee, that reduced the amount of nut milk we were drinking by quite a bit as well. And so I said, well, how much of that can you have? He said, well, as much nut milk as one ounce of nuts makes. So it's the same. If you have an ounce of nuts that you eat or the equivalent amount of nut milk made by one ounce of nuts, that's pretty much what he's recommending as a max for a day. So I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. I do plan, hope to do these every day and give you an update. And thanks so much for joining me and being a part of this incredible journey, pursuing health. My purpose is to inspire, educate, and share on earth in this life and certainly in these videos. So let me know what you think and let me know how, how you're doing. And, uh, you know, I sure wonder if this fasting thing isn't really the panacea for so many of the things that ail so many of us. And gee, if, if only we knew all the, the health problems we have, the cardiovascular, the cancers, the heart disease, and the um, diabetes and all these, if we could just stop eating and, and really improve our condition, wow, wouldn't that be worth it? I think now's the time and I think it's worth it. So I'm doing it. I'll make the supreme sacrifice and be the guinea pig on behalf of those who have never tried nor heard about fasting and I'll let you know how it's going along the way. I've watched the lectures to find out what to expect and it, it can be a rough ride and yet I've we had dinner with a lady tonight who did a 12 day fast and said she felt great throughout, never felt sick, never felt too fatigued or anything. So uh, you just never know how the body's gonna respond. It depends on what the chemistry is doing going into it. So thanks for joining. Subscribe if you wanna follow what we're doing here and hit the notifications so you'll get an update. And uh, look around our channel at Soul Documentary here and check out souldocumentary.love, our website. We do a lot of stuff. We've made a lot of shows. We have tons of videos and we have a bunch more footage coming soon. We've been editing away like crazy lately. So we have a stockpile of videos we're gonna be putting out once we get through all this fasting, vlogging business. Then we're gonna start putting out some great videos with interviews again. We've interviewed over 200 people at Soul Documentary and we have some great wisdom to share from you from very many different perspectives and angles and different facets of our culture and our lives. And again, we just hope to inspire, educate, and share. Our new uh, motto at 
sole documentary is inspiring harmony for the individual and the collective. Won't you join us in participating in that? Let's unify our human family, love one another, help heal trauma and health, ancient and present, and move into the future with a new vitality and a new emerging energy, confidence, and resolve to make our future so much better than our past. We can do this. Thanks for joining. Take care.